Bonjour, je suis Pierre de Gaillande. Je vais essayer de vous expliquer pourquoi je fais ce que je ne pensais jamais faire, vous demander de l'argent. J'ai besoin de fonds pour compléter le deuxième volume de mon projet, Bad Reputation. The mission of Bad Reputation is to let you in on a great secret. Georges Brassens, a French singer active from the 1950s to the 1970s, he was a giant icon of French culture. To the French, he was like Bob Dylan, Woody Guthrie, Simon and Garfunkel, all wrapped into one. He's virtually unknown in the English-speaking world. My mission is to change that. I live in Brooklyn, New York. I was born in Paris, France. When I was a kid, my father insisted on blasting this folk music with this deep baritone singer. I eventually realized how amazing these songs were. C'est une erreur, mais les joueurs d'accordéon I also started to realize how important the Brassens philosophy was to me. He was a true individual and he was basically a punk. He ignored rock and roll and stuck to his folk music throughout the 60s and 70s, even as rock and roll was going on around him. He wrote beautiful, sad, truthful, honest, poignant, and sometimes very raunchy songs, but he always sang them with a little glint in his eye. And he played a lot of them in this key, which is B minor, which is the second saddest of all keys. About four years ago, my dad sent me a song of Georges Brassens that he had translated into English. This set off an intense exploration of Brassens' music, and it basically turned into the project that is Bad Reputation. I've been translating these songs, keeping the rhyme scheme, meter, and meaning as intact as possible. Ainsi est né le projet Bad Reputation. In 2011, I released the first volume of my translations of Georges Brassens songs. The record got great reviews. We performed the songs all over the US and even in France where French people liked it and they usually hate everything. This brings us to the present and where you come in. I finished translating a second volume of Bad Reputation Georges Brassens songs. So I need your help to finish recording, mixing, mastering, and pressing the record. I promise to use every cent I make on this, on the record, and on my supply of baguettes and wine. À mon avis, le deuxième CD sera encore meilleur que le premier. Il y aura un groupe fantastique de musiciens new-yorkais. ainsi que des invités musicaux spectaculaires. Parmi eux, Joël Favreau, un des très rares guitaristes à avoir accompagné Brassens en concert dans les années 70. Il a eu la gentillesse de venir à New York et enregistrer avec moi. Un autre musicien fantastique sur le disque est Jean-Jacques Franchin. Tragiquement, il est mort quelques mois après avoir enregistré sur l'album. Donc, c'est le dernier enregistrement qu'il a fait. Il possédait une virtuosité sans pareil et il nous manquera beaucoup. Et en plus, mon oncle Yves de Gaillande, guitariste grand talent, qui habite en France, joue aussi sur le CD. C'est un énorme plaisir pour nous de jouer ensemble. Let's face it, folks, there just aren't a lot of artists out there who have that kind of honesty and do it in such a beautiful way. So that's why I think this project is really important and that's why I think you should come along with me for the ride. Now it's time to kick this fundraising into high gear. I really want to thank you for your help and your support in making this happen. And the Mustachio Troubadour thanks you from his final resting place on the beach in the south of France. Now, let's go sing some songs. Oh.